Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to take a look at exporting our static banners. And when I say static, that just means they don't animate or anything like that. So let us close uh, this set four and open up the first one that we did. Oops. Okay, so let me hide these real quick and bring them back to where they were before, which I didn't save, unfortunately. Okay, so each of these are inside their own uh, layer group, and so it makes it very easy for us to go ahead and flatten these. Now, one thing I would definitely do first is save these, and we'll just name it flat, save. And what we can do is merge the layer group. So if we go here and right click and hit merge group, we'll see now it's all on one layer, although with exception to the title. And we could do that for the rest of the visible layers. And I'm hitting control E to do that automatically. So let me just get rid of each title here okay so I uh, as with the split testing lesson we're just gonna work with these six banners here so what we can do I uh, first is we'll take our 728 by 90 and we'll just hit control A to select all and then control C to copy then we can go to file new and we'll see that our size is automatically set based on what's on the clipboard 728 by 90 and hit OK and then hit control V to paste it and here's where we can go to file save for web and in here we can choose our different different uh, file types. So at JPG, we see that the file size is 28.47K. So it's not very big and would definitely be acceptable pretty much to every ad network out there. Uh, if you have an image that uh, contains a lot of photography, for example, uh, and you're working with a quality that's real high, you may definitely go well over uh, 50K or 100K. So the way you can work with that is just by adjusting the quality. Obviously, you don't want anything too uh, less quality, otherwise it'll look terrible. But uh, with these settings here, I think we have a pretty good starting point uh, for saving our banners. So I'm going to create a new folder. We'll just call this Set1. And we'll just name it the, uh, the dimensions of the banner. And then we can go ahead and just keep on repeating this process to all other layers that we have remain or banners that we have remaining. So I hit Control Shift, Control Shift C and S is a shortcut for getting Save for Web up. And this is 468 by 60. Control C, Control N, hit OK. And this is 336 by, actually, let me see here real quick, 280. Control C, Control N, hit OK. Save for web. And this is 300 by 250. Control C, Control N, paste it and save it. 200 by 200. And then our final one, we'll save it as 300 by 50. And that is it. I, so then when you're ready to go ahead and send this or present it to a client, uh, you can just zip up the folders. And obviously, you would do this for all remaining, uh, the split test variations that we, we did for um, in the previous lesson. And that way, everything's organized into their own folder and ready to go. All right, so in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at 
animating the this banner set right here. All right, see you then.